Good morning, Amcasters. Michaela here. Just wanted to show you a really cool new enclosure update for Jupiter. He now has the vision, the uh, vision, it's not a four by two by two, I guess you would say it's a four. Well, it's four feet tall by two feet wide by two feet, you know. It, it's, it's the opposite of a four by two by two for a bearded dragon if you stood it up on it, it's, you know, upright. <laughs> So he's got this new enclosure. I just set it up for him today. Still gonna work on a few things, to a, a few additions I'd like to put. Um, so here's the door. If you go back from this way, it has these uh, locks, it's like this. So this is a Visions cage. Only issues I had when uh, we assembled it is we did get a panel come in broken. We had already assembled the enclosure. They shipped us another panel, so we still ended up, you know, having a couple damaged panels so they had to send those out to us they sent them out individually so that was kind of a frustrating thing the other thing i found kind of frustrating is this top here the sticky stuff you know because they put paper stickers over the top to protect the acrylic would not come off so i have to do some work on getting that off the door so but the locks are nice because he is a super dwarf retic so for him the way that this is set up because it also has the I put the plastic piece on top in the back to help with humidity he's got the UVB up here he has um, he's got a heat mat it's still the thermostat is it's pretty much almost there thermostat and heat mat are under the ba bottom corner of the enclosure nice thing about this it's nice and thin so a heat mat and thermostat for under the bottom of this enclosure style works really well he has a really nice big fake tree to climb in uh, and he loved this immediately as soon as I uh, got him in here. So at nighttime when he's busy, he's going to be a busy boy. Uh, and in the bottom, his, his older tree that he had in his first enclosure, so I just added that. Plus it has a nice little hide in there as well. This is his hot hide where he can get warm since the heat mat and the thermostat are underneath on that side. Of course, uh, retics love their water bowl. Um, so showing you, he has a full on soaking water bowl that he loves. Over here, this hide is actually a humid hide that he is in right now because he's about ready to shed. Um, and of course I've got the little um, thermostat or the little uh, temperature and humidity gauge here. This is the cooler side of the enclosure, um, but inside this box, because the top of this lid, you can put, you put, uh, sphagnum moss in the lid and then you 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 spray it and get it damp and then you shut the lid and then the actual box itself I don't even know if I can read it let's see here Whoop, not sure <laughs> I'll have to see what happened there when I put that the camera inside of there but the actual box itself also has another one of these um, humidity and temperature gauges attached to it so that will tell you how humid the box is itself and, um, but I also always keep one of these in my snake enclosures because they're easy. Really, you can know exactly what your humidity is. I use piddle pads um, on the bottom of enclosures because a piddle pad is super simple to clean. It's absorbent. When they poop, you just pick it up and then you put down a fresh one and it's easy to wipe off. It's very, very easy to clean this enclosure. That's what I like about it as well. Uh, it's it's beautiful. Um, it's very nice and open and clean. Um, I have no problem with that. You can see the back where we we used a little bit of wood tape to repair one of the cracks in the panels. So we still had one more panel with a crack on it. But I think he's really going to love this. I just moved him in this afternoon. So of course he's, he's sleeping and he is about to shed. So like I said, he's in his humid hide right now. He has options. He's got a cooler area, a humid hide, a warm side full soaking water bowl. Uh, Retics love to, to climb and, and he's got the ability to climb. Up here eventually in the top rafters, I'm gonna put in some uh, hanging branches or vines so he can have even more access to climb way up top. And then I am going to uh, put in a sky hide using the bars that are up above where the UVB is and add a sky hide for him as well. So he's got a lot of potential in this enclosure and a lot more fun that I can add to it, but at least we've got a great setup for now. But yeah, I'm super excited about this enclosure. This is the Zen Habitats um, enclosure. 
If you flip the bearded dragon enclosure on its side, this is what you get. This is their arboreal uh, enclosure. And for Jupiter, considering right now, he is about three feet long, you know, and super slender because he's a, a super dwarf retic. He came from Garrett with Reach Out Reptiles. Wonderful place. Love Reach Out Reptiles. I am not sponsored, but you guys, they breed the most beautiful snakes. And Jupiter is the sweetest super dwarf ever. Um, his old enclosure was um, pretty much a recycled one with a broken door. And that was only temporary because I knew I wanted to get this kind of setup for him. Now he's got a beautiful enclosure. He cannot escape. He's going to have so much more fun in this. And I just can't wait to uh, do a video of him at nighttime when he's awake exploring and, and showing you guys exactly what it's going to look like. So, all right, MCasters, you have a great day. This is Michaela signing out. And yeah, welcome to Jupiter's new home.